Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, and this is a low risk of tropical development over the state of Florida. Now, this is one of those times where I want to stress right off the bat, this is not a panic, this is not a hype, this is not a run for the hills type of scenario. It's a low risk of tropical development. In fact, the National Hurricane Center says a 20%, and it will likely be later on this week, all due to a stationary boundary which is really just going to set up and linger due to a cold front moving in from the north. Watch this right here. And then it just kind of stalls out and changes over towards stationary boundary here. But anytime we see this type of setup over the state of Florida, this time of year especially, what we can get is a low trying to develop on it. Like this particular model, this is the ECMWF is trying to show off of our east coast. It's not... Uh, nothing indicates like a hurricane. Nothing indicates it's damaging winds here. But it really is heading into the end of the week. We're going to see this increase in rainfall Thursday, Friday, and maybe even over towards Saturday and Sunday for the 4th of July weekend. I wouldn't be canceling your plans at this point by no means. I mean, this could just be some passing showers. The worry is sometimes we get these see, see things spin up along this line and even see here right here at the gfs outlook it actually is showing something try to spin up on the west coast all that moisture really gathering there um th there's still uncertainty okay so what you need to do is at this time is not cancel your plans just be ready for the increase in rainfall and the change in the forecast anybody at, here on s monday afternoon that is saying exactly what's going to happen heading into the weekend is out to lunch and it, it, if they're saying a hurricane is going to hit you need to correct them and say no <laughs> you need to chill my friend some people might be doing it for clicks um i thankfully i get paid the same amount whether i get a ton of clicks or no clicks uh here at first coast news salary right so i don't need to do that I just want to give you the best information possible. This is the same thing I'm telling my friends and my family about what we can see here. And, and by the way, this was the GFS versus the Euro, both showing kind of the circles right there. That's the isobars. So both models indicating a weak low, but neither model is showing circle on top of circle on top of circle, which would indicate a deep low strengthening rapid intensifying type low. We still have very warm sea surface temperatures on both coasts, so it is conducive for tropical formation but there's other things going against it a bit of shear we have drier towards the south the point is wednesday through friday we're going to have these tropical showers so you want to make sure you continue to stay posted download the first coast news app if you haven't already so you can get more information on what we can expect over the upcoming week i'm meteorologist robert spetta as always keeping you posted here on the traffic so yeah stay safe out there friends